Hey guys, today I will be showing you how to solve a 3x3. Three three. I hope this is an easier tutorial than other tutorials. Um, and yeah, make sure to subscribe, leave a like, and we'll get right into the video. Alright guys, step number one is to create the daisy. And what we do is look for the yellow centerpiece. And now we have to solve for all four ed white edge pieces around it. This one's already in the correct spot. And this one's really easy because we can just move it up like that. And now we have two out of four petals. So here's one on the bottom. And we want to make it go here. So we're going to put it under where it needs to go. And then we can just flip it all the way up. And now we have three out of four daisies. And this one's already under the correct spot, so we can just flip it all the way up. And now we have the daisy. And make sure to just ignore the corner pieces for now. The next step is to create the white cross on the bottom. So these colors match, which means that we can flip them all the way down to the bottom. And these also match, so we can flip them to the bottom. But these two don't match, so we have to move it until they match, and then flip it down. And now we move the top until the orange edge matches with the orange centerpiece, and there we go, and then flip it down. If you did it correctly, you should have a white cross on the bottom with the, with the center and edge pieces matching. The next step is to solve the white corners. So what we're gonna do is try to look for one corner piece on the top. Here's a white corner piece on the top, and the colors on it are red and green. So we have to move that in between red and green. And now this white corner piece is over the blank spot where it needs to go. And to insert this into here, we're gonna do this algorithm. R, U, R prime, U prime. And as you can see, it's solved down there. A problem you might run into is a corner piece being on the bottom layer. So to get it out of the bottom layer onto the top layer, we're just going to do that algorithm again. R, U, R prime, U prime. And now it's in the top. So this is a white corner piece already in the correct spot. So to insert this down here, we just do those four moves. R, U, R prime, U prime. As you can see, it's not solved, so we have to do it again. R, U, R prime, U prime still not solved r u r prime u prime and now it's solved so let's do that with one more piece here's one now the colors on it are red and blue so we have to move it between red and blue and then insert it using those four moves r u r prime u prime not inserted r u r prime u prime still not solved r u r prime u prime and now it's solved down there now we have one more piece and now it's in the correct spot here but as you can see, if we were to repeat those four moves, it would take forever, right? Instead, when the white corner piece is facing towards you, just flip the cube to the left side and do this. Like that. And now, if you did it correctly, you should have the whole white face solved and the bottom layer. The next step is to solve the middle layer. So what you're going to do is look for an edge piece on the top that doesn't have yellow on it and make sure that edge piece matches with the center piece. So the color on top of this edge piece is red, which means we need this edge piece to fit right here. And to do that, we're gonna do this algorithm. We're gonna push it away from where it needs to go. And we're gonna do, since it needs to go to the right side of the cube, we're gonna do this, the right algorithm. R, U, R prime, U prime. And now it's here. And now we're gonna flip the cube to where that edge piece needs to go and do this algorithm. And now we have that piece solved there. Uh, so here's another edge piece with no yellow on it. And now it lines here. And we're gonna push it away from where it needs to go, which is here. And since it needs to go to the left side of the cube, we do a left algorithm. And now flip it to the right side, so that because it needs to go here. And now we have almost the full middle layer done. So here's another example, doesn't have yellow on it. So this piece needs to go here because it needs to go in between the green and orange centers. So we're gonna push it away. Since it needs to go to the right side, we do a right algorithm and flip it to the side that edge needs to go to and then do a left algorithm. And now we have one more edge piece left. We can just solve it by pushing it away since it needs to go to the left side, left algorithm, 
flip it to the side it needs to go to, write algorithm. And now I have the whole middle layer solved. Another problem you might run into is all of the sides having yellow on it. And if they all have yellow, just do that algorithm where you push it away, do the algorithm, just do that. And then you sh and then after that algorithm, you should have a free spot to start solving the rest. The next step is to solve the yellow cross on the top. So here's a couple cases that might happen. One is you have a horizontal line right here in the middle. Uh, another case is where you have one dot in the middle. In the last case is um, if you have an L shape like this or like this. Um, so in my case, I have the horizontal line. So if you have the horizontal line, you're gonna do the algorithm I'm about to do. If you have the L shape, make sure to put that in the top left just like this and then do the algorithm twice. If you have one dot, you're gonna have to do it three times. So since I have the horizontal line, we only have to do it once. So the algorithm goes F, R, U, R prime, U prime, and then undo that F move. And now we'll have the cross. If you had one dot, you'll have to do that, that algorithm three times. If you had the L, you'll have to do it twice. And if you had the horizontal line, you'll only have to do it one time. The next step is to solve all these edge pieces right here. So as you can see, these two already match. Um, so then you'll do this algorithm. If you have two next to each other that match, you're gonna put those in the back right here and do the algorithm. And if all of them match, you can just move on to the next step. But in my case, they're across from each other. So then you do this algorithm. R, U, R prime, U, R, U two, R prime. And now you can move the top layer and we can keep moving it. And there we go. Now we have two that match next to each other. So we can put those in the back and do it again. R, U, R prime, U, R, U two, R prime. And now when we move the top layer, we should have all the edge pieces matching. Our last step is to solve the yellow corner pieces correctly. So. In my case, none of these corners match. Like this it has yellow, um, orange, and blue, but it's not in between yellow, orange, and blue. So if you have that case, you'll do this algorithm. If you have one that matches, make sure to put that in the top right. And then if none of your corners match, then you'll do this algorithm. Now we can see if any of them match and they still don't, so we'll do it again. Now we can see if ma they match. Oh, this one matches. So now we're gonna put that in the top right and do it again. Now this one matches and this one matches. So um, you might have to do that a couple times but once you have all of the corners matching, you're gonna flip the cube upside down and make sure that flipped corner piece is in the bottom right. That's very important. And then when you have it in the bottom right, you're gonna do those four moves like I taught you in the beginning. R, U, R prime, U prime, uh, still not solved. R, U, R prime, U prime, not solved. R, U, R prime, U prime, not solved. R, U, R prime, U prime, now it's solved. Now, you're not gonna flip the cube like that. We're gonna turn the bottom until we have it in the bottom right like that, and then do those moves again. R, U, R prime, U prime. R, U, R prime, U prime. And then you can flip the bottom and it'll be solved. So that is how to solve it, the three by three. So I hope you found that video helpful. If it wasn't, then you might wanna go check out another tutorial, but make sure to leave a like, subscribe. Yeah, we'll see you all next time.